We divide the line into many equal parts. E.g. seven equal parts, right? So when we are bisecting, we are dividing the line into two equal parts. Yeah? But we want to look at a case where we can divide the line into three equal parts, four equal parts, five equal parts, and as many equal parts as possible. So in this example, we are going to use seven equal parts, but the procedure is the same for any number of equal parts as long as uh, you want to divide the line. So let's start with the given line, which is line AB. So we want to divide this line into a number of equal parts, seven equal parts. So you, the first step, <coughs> the first step is you get your straight edge or your rule and draw a slant line from any of the two end points. So for example, we're going to use point A, right? So you draw a slant line from point A. It can either go down or it can go up like that, just slant. So this slant line should be of any length and at any angle, okay? No restrictions. Of any length and at any angle. A faint line. So here, we have our line AB. Remember, this is the line that we want to divide into seven equal parts, right? So if line AB is 70 millimeters, then if we divide it into seven equal parts, we need to get 10 millimeters a piece, right? Yes. So we draw this fend, this fend line, slant of any length and at any angle, right? The next step is you want to make seven equal marks along the slant line, okay? So you start from here. This one will be your point zero. You start one, two, three, four, five, six, up to seven, as in the number of equal parts that you want to divide in this line, okay? So you get your compass or even your, even your rule doesn't matter as long as you are able to maintain the space between, between them should be equal. So for example here, zero, so this one will be, will be your zero, two, three, four, seven, seven. The next step is you draw a line connecting point seven to point B. The, the last point to the last point of the line. There. Okay? A straight line, a faint line. Straight faint line. Now, the next step is you draw a line, or is it lines that are parallel to this line here? You see, the way it is when you're drawing there, lines that are parallel to this line, at this point, at that point, until you reach the last point there, which is point one. Okay? So how do we draw parallel lines now? Here we use the set squares. Can you come and help me demonstrate here, sir? So I want you to hold this. So the thing is, you want to align one of the edges of the set square, right? You align it with the given line, the line that you want to draw a parallel line to. So you start by aligning. So you can choose any of the lines, any of the edges, maybe this one or this one. Which one are we going to align this line with? Yes, we use that one. You, with this one here. This is the line that you want to copy. So you align it. Uh, bring it down a bit like this. Uh -huh. You align it like that, right? Okay. After it has been aligned, you lock it now with another straight edge. So this can be any straight edge like your T square or your row, or just a set square. So you lock the other edge now. So you remove this hand there. So here, I've noticed that you have moved. You have to go back now to align it. It's not aligned. Uh -huh. Okay, something like that, right? So you lock now with this. And again, when locking, you have to make sure that there is no gap there. It shouldn't be like that, or maybe like that. It should be flashing. Okay? And then you hold this frame now. Listen. So after holding this, it's just a matter of sliding this now. Then. So slide it at point 0.6. So remove it. Have you seen the way these lines are looking? They are parallel. Okay? 
So from point six again, you go to point five. So can you align it with this line? You can align it with that line. So when we say slide, you don't just have to. The, the way it is, it's like yes. Make sure that you align it. Align it first. Of all. Yes, faint. Align it. Okay. So when we say sliding, you can even lift it because this thing is locked in this thing in position. So lift it, <laughs> lift it, and take it at the other point. Uh -huh. The principle is the same, isn't it? The distance from this point to this point it should be equal to the distance from this point to that point, the distance from that point on the given line there. 